from its beginning. Witchcraft has been occultic. It has always been associated with Satan. And whether a person... No, whether, no, no, let no. me finish. Let me finish. No, whether I will a, not abide that. Well, I have Go to finish. Ahead now. Okay. Go ahead. I've finish. made my statement. It has historically been connected with Satan. That does not mean that a person in witchcraft automatically is demon-possessed or anything like that. It simply means that a person can be honest and sincere and dedicated and absolutely wrong. And the Judeo-Christian religion is opposed vigorously to witchcraft as a form of Satanism. Well, I think they're upset about your reference to Satan because they see Satan as a Christian invention. Mm -hmm. Satan is the Antichrist, and they don't believe in Christ. So they certainly, they say, cannot believe in Satan. Well, you have to go back a little bit further than that. Yeah. Satanism goes back to the book of Job in the, in the Bible, which is a oh, very, very old yeah. book, which antedates all of the things they're talking about. No, no, it, doesn't. no it does Absolutely not. Absolutely not. You haven't the done your homework, paintings Dr. in Martin. Spain well, are way before. <laughs> okay. uh, hang on a minute. Yes, I think I have done my homework. That's why I'm here. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but what has to be understood is that witchcraft isn't just what you're seeing here. Witchcraft is seances, tarot cards, communications with the dead, all of the things which God forbid in the Old Testament. No, I disagree. Can I finish? Yeah, no. Well, I'll okay. let you talk. Let me talk. All right. Don't interrupt me. I don't, <laughs> I don't want to interrupt you. I just want to be courteous. All right. The fact what is, time to cook? the fact is that witchcraft is not just we over a candle and uh, the altar and the bell and the book and all the rest of the things associated with it. Actually, it is a very ancient form of religion which is polytheistic, believing in many gods, was opposed by the law, the prophets, Moses, the apostles, the Lord Jesus Christ. What we are getting here is a modern revival of an old poison with a new label. And it's spiritually, it's spiritually dangerous. I will not abide it. Well, that's the Christian church's position. You well, can disagree. Oh, right. Yes. Now, that, I think, sums it up. But Why would you be so Bible, upset at his negative review of your... Well, We've heard because it all of the Bible. Well, but he's heard your condemnation of Christianity yeah. well, before. I mean, let's take First Corinthians. Isn't it a shame, really, that we're into this argument and I bickering and fighting? Well, hate why it. hate it? I mean, allow the man to make his point. It's obviously you don't. We're not asked, demanding that then you agree with him. Then don't reply to it. No, no, no. It's not so much that as it is sort of a. You know, the witches themselves are not getting along with each other. We've got boundaries. Well, you don't have to be a witch to heal. Um, there's a whole lot of Christian charismatic healers who are doing great work. Whoa, Sorry. stop right there. There is no connection between charismatic Christians who employ God the Holy Spirit and witches who employ all kinds of gods and goddesses. Now, there's just no equation whatsoever. Hey.